Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Specky D's the name. Uh, beach combing's kind of my game. Yeah, definitely not a pirate, that's for sure. Run the odd merchant quest here and there. Sometimes do some gold, but I wouldn't say I'm a pirate. I try as my best. Anyway, I'm going to go out on old Sloopy. You want to join me? Oh, the weather's a little, uh, a little bit on the iffy side. Oh well. Let's see what we can do. Oh look, I see a skull up there. Oh, ships are bouncing around. Wow. Hello, Sloopy. Looks like you could do with a little bit of a, a paint job here. Hello, Sue. How are you? Yeah, you're always there for me, love. Okay. Uh, I want to redecorate my ship a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm, looks like I'm lacking on the old funds there. Let's see what I've got in the chest. Yeah, I'll come back later. All right. Ah, let's go with a nice racing green. And my favourite pastime is a little bit of the old uh, rum. So, yeah, we can do that. And a green sail. I'm for the green today. Yeah, let's go as green as we can get them, right? Oh, I like that. And then we'll do that. Yeah, let's see how that looks. These uh, decorators out here are really quick. You like turn your back and then you look around and everything's done. It's fantastic. Oh, got me feet wet. That was a bit of a bit of a hit to the old uh, system there. Wasn't expecting how cold the water would be. Usually not too bad on the seas, but whatever. All right, let's see. Yeah, stove. We got everything we need here. I'm thinking I might change up my old look. You know, put put one of my old hats on that I got here. This one makes me look a bit poncy. I like something like this. It's a little bit kind of compact and bijou. There we go. That'll work. Not one for too much colour either. Likes to be a little bit inconspicuous. So I'm going to go with the greys today. Let's see. No, don't be wearing dresses. Not since the last time I got drunk. That was uh, that was quite a night, I'll tell you. But that's another story. There we go. That'll do me. Alright, well where are we going to go now, Sloopy? Let's get out of here. Oh, come with me to the rolling sea Where the weather's calm and still Yeah, this uh, capstan makes me look like I've got more money than I do as. This gold paint they got, it uh, really looks like real gold. Uh, the skull scaring me a little bit. Nothing else going on. There's been some weird chests on the seas lately. Um, something going on with the uh, old Bildrat guy in the, in the bar too. Not sure what he's up to. Seems to be collecting all these Reaper's chests that have been showing up all over the place. Causing a lot of conflict too, because you can get doubloons for those. He's paying good money. There's something going on. There's a particular island where there's this scaffold in, and there's one of these chests has been opened, and it's got a, it's got a, a skeleton in it, and it's got some robes. But the weird thing is, there's no skull. And uh, if there's anything I know about those uh, mystic types. Uh, they they te seem to think the skull's got the uh, life essence in it. So they're always after skulls. Makes me think that uh, somebody's taken the skull to do a little bit of... How's your father on it and make it come back? Or do something anyway. It's kind of scary. Oh, Sloopy, you're going a bit quick. Doing a bit of beach combing. That's how I makes my money. Just hopping around the seas. Alright, let's uh oof 
little bit of a sword lunge. I've been practicing that. I'm getting better. Nine times out of ten, I just falls off the ship. So I was quite happy with that. <laughs> yeah. So much stuff gets left around on these islands. Look at this. An old frying pan. Some rum bottles. It's like someone's been living here. Oh, I like these pineapples that have been showing up. The diet of bananas are just driving me crazy. Needed some different kind of food. And now you can cook on the old pork. Likes a bit of the old bacon. These guys are still showing up everywhere though. Come here, piggy. Whoa! That's not what I want to see. Got to think fast when you're out here. Ah, I'm going to get you, little stinker. Come on. Drop that. I'll have it. There's more than one way to kill a pig. Where'd that pig go? Oh my goodness, look. Some of those... Chests are showing up. I kind of want to try my hand at getting one of those. Could do with some of those doubloons. Get me to Pirate Legend real quick. Bar my way there with those doubloons. Letters of recommendation. Could work kind of nice for me. I use that they're uh, going to limit those letters of recommendation too. So it's kind of upsetting because a lot of people have been getting really upset around here on the seas that some people are getting a pirate legend without really earning it. Still, I'm uh, I'm happy to try the quick way to pirate legend. I tell you, because people leave you alone when you got the title pirate legend. Well, a little bit more than they do if you're sailing around with white sails, looking like a doofus on the seas. Yeah. Well, not much here. Anchoring up, carrying on to the next one. Might turn me lights off in a minute. Don't want to be seen on the seas too much. Oh, here we go. A sailing over on the sea of thieves. We're looking for that really big score as we go a sailing. So he is about this uh, this pirate called Captain Falcor. I haven't met him myself, but uh, apparently he's got this unholy love for chickens. And he takes this chicken with him everywhere. Calls it Larry the Legend and I think he's married to it. I don't know, that's what I heard anyway. And, uh, you know, that, I think that's pretty unholy, but, you know, that's... Uh, that's the Sea of Thieves. We accept all kinds. Race, gender, you know, preference, all that stuff. Got to accept everyone on the seas because we're all just trying to get by. And we all keep coming back, so it's like a prison. You just cannot leave. Some people want to find a way to die and never return. But the... Uh, the the uh, guy on that ship when you die, that creepy guy. Yeah, he's uh, he sends you back. He makes you come back. Your soul cannot stay on the ship. Some people try, but eventually they leave. Oops. I think I'm going to have to anchor. Because I'm not paying attention when I'm talking out loud. I don't even know who I'm talking to. Not like anyone can hear me, it's just the seas get so lonely when you sail on your own. You just end up shooting the breeze with the breeze. It's just the way it goes, I guess. Oh my goodness, this is a score and a half. Oh, I'm eating a pineapple. To pick up a pineapple, that's silly. I guess I want to eat what a eat these things. Not a big fan of crunching my teeth on coconuts but I really do like the pineapples. So here one, two. Those pineapples got funny faces on them. I never noticed that. Weirdest looking thing. It's got a little bit missing. 
It's a pet pineapple. Reminds me of that crazy guy that got stuck on an island for so long and he painted a face on a on a ball. Yeah, started talking to it, he did. Name was uh Terry Terry Anks. Thomas Anks? Tim T Anks, I think. Yeah. Anyway, he was a bit of an odd one too. Had full conversations with that thing. But like I say, the seas will drive you nuts if you're on your own so long. That's just the way it is. Oh, look at that. Our seas are shiny. This is how it makes my living. It better be something good. Mm -hmm. Where are you, shiny thing? I don't see you now. I see Snakey and there's this guy. Don't rattle your bones at me, and as for you, maybe shiny thing was Skelly with a the gun there. Oi, don't shoot at me, okay? Get out of here. You're only supposed to shoot each other, not me. I'm not here to hurt you. Oh, look at this guy. Looks like one of those candy canes at Christmas. Oh, you little stinker. I'm seeing red now. So, yeah, there's this new group, this new faction called... Uh, started up by Merrick. And they're buying up all the fish and... Yeah, you can fish now. They're giving out fishing rods to everybody. So, I don't see that shiny anymore. Where'd it go? I thought it was over here. More freaking skellies with guns. How is it they come up the ground with a gun in their hand, but you never get to dig up a gun? Where are all these guns? Where are they getting them from? There's another crazy one. Look at this guy. Alright, what have I got now? Snake. Alright, I'll eat that banana. There we go. So, back to the ship, because I'm not seeing anything else here I want. Where's Sloopy? There she is. I don't know where that glowing thing went either. I was kind of seeing it there. Is that it? Yeah, here we go. Little silver trinket. A decorative coffer. Now that's a fine piece. Let's see. An extraordinary find. A highly collectible police. It's true. Police, did I say? No. Don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. The sea will drive you nuts. There, looks a beautiful, that thing. Alright. Now, do I want to try my hand at grabbing one of those? Let's have a look on the map. Because apparently they shows up on the map, they do. So, right behind me is the outpost, and there it is. Oh, that one's moving. There's another one. Yeah, what was the other one? That one must have got picked up by a ship. I thought I saw two behind me though, so why... If it's been picked up, I should only see one now, right? Yeah. No way I'm going to get there. I'm all the opportunist. If it spawns in somewhere near me, if it like starts doing its thing and glowing, then I'll go get it. Anyway, off to the next island. See what it's going to bless me with. I was in the bar the other day in the uh, in the pub there, and Fayette comes in. Lovely pirate she is. 
She's always wearing this one little pirate hat. And uh, she's got some relatives going through a bit of a tough time. So she's doing some uh, some fundraising. And uh, I thought I'd put the word out and say that, uh, you know, if, if you can help Faye it out. If you see her on the seas and you want to throw her some money. Or uh, run into her in the in the community. Um, yeah, just tell her that you heard from me. That uh, she's uh, she's needing a little bit of financial assist. Apparently, some medical bills, something like that. Terrible when you get sick. Nothing on the seas today, although I'm really liking the green. The ship looks great when it's all greened up. Mm. Don't really know where I'm going. I think I might be going off the map this way. This ain't really a place I want to be. Let's turn and see where I am actually going. Eh. Yeah, let's see if I can get an island in front of me and get my bearings. Yeah, that's a little better. I'm gonna go look at the map table now. Sloopy, you treat me well, you do. Oh my goodness. Really not going where I wanna go. I think I wanna go northwest. Oh, come on, Sloopy. I'm saying you treat me well and then you're messing me about. Sending me off the map. I don't want that. Let's go to Shark Bait Cove. Uh, here we go to Shark Bait Cove. We're gonna look around. We'll see the camp of my old friend Merica on the shore. <laughs> oh man, making up songs sometimes ain't the easiest thing in the world. Oh, Sloopy, come on. You and me are supposed to know what we're doing here. So the shipwright Sue, she tells me that they're giving away this this stuff, like this this uh, capstan and wheel and stuff. And they call it the halo stuff. I have no idea. I said hello. That's what I say when I meet someone. Hello. It's like, yeah, I didn't really get it, but. She gave it to me and it looked pretty nice. So I thought I'll put it on the ship today. Oh, the seas are rough today. Gonna get me bath bucket out, I think. Ugh. Been eating grubs too, as like you get hungry sometimes and you got nothing on you. And then you eat a grub and oh man, sometimes they really turn your stomach. Make your bath all over the place. Still, a bucket of bath can be quite a defense when you're fighting another pirate. Bucket of bath in the face and then give them a quick one-two with the old blade. They're just reeling and retching from you barfing on them. Oh, this has been happening too. Look at this. been seeing some of this stuff popping up on the ocean and you think an exploding barrel with a harpoon to the side would go up like a a Roman candle but for some reason when you hit them if you hit them they just comes right in pretty handy if you're being chased by someone and you need a, a quick defense and you don't have anything up in the old nest you know, it's a quick grab and go. Can really uh, work wonders to stop or slow down that pursuer. Keep them off your tail, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's see what else. Oh, look! Oh, wow. There's uh, more hunter's stuff, too, to be had. I better be quick, because this stuff will start to sink soon. 
Yeah, it will. I think I might jump off and get the gem. I really don't understand how gems float. So Sue, the shipwright, has been working hard on the ship. She's uh, she came up with the harpoons and she puts them on rowboats now too, which is pretty cool. But you can't buy them from her. You can't say, "Hey, Sue, give me a give me an harpoon on this rowboat I just picked up." Nah, she won't do that. Which is a shame, because she's a talented lass. Oh, look at that. Got some more hunter stuff. I'll have to go to a sea post. Get rid of this stuff. Yeah, some of the sea posts have been, uh, been pretty handy lately. It's funny, Americanese relations have, uh, have taken up residence in the sea post, but I don't know where they sleep. It's the weirdest thing. They must arrive there, like, at some point. But every time you I go, they're always there. So how they get there or where they go, oh, it's really a bit of a mystery. Fishing for barrels on the sea of thieves. Doing what we can to see what we can get. Oh my, I've got to brush up on my singing skills. Oh, that was a close one. These seagulls are going to have to fly off somewhere else. That's how you find these barrels. You just look for the birds. All the shining in the water. That's another way. Oh, oh well, I'll take them. Whatever. Leave that barrel there as a little storage area. Captain Falcor came up with that idea. He's like... And then I realised you could use the one on the rowboat too, if you got one on the back. Pretty handy. <sighs> Alright, I think we're pretty well stocked. We want to get back on course, though, right? Let's do it. I think we want to go northwestish. We're heading southwest. That was right off the map. There it is, right there. Anyone else around? Nah. I like just travelling around the side of the map. Just off the shroud, and in that way, if there's anyone, they're going to be towards the interior. They're not going to be in the shroud coming at you from that side. So if you're a beachcomber like me, that's what you do. Is uh, you just got to watch out for the odd a skelly ship, those emergent threats guy called Kia calls them emergent threats. I'm like, what's he talking about? Seems to be his favourite thing to say. I might stop here, do a little bit of fishing. Because it's good, it, it's kind of chillaxing. Get a little bit of fishing done. Oh, well, I think I see a ship over there. Let's hop up here and see what uh, what's going down. Where they go? Oh, what is that? Is that a galleon? Oh, I just it is. It's a galleon and it's moving at a fair clip. I don't want any run-ins if I can help it. I wonder where they think they're going. Better not be coming here. Oh. Some people on the Sea of Thieves reckon that we're in some kind of some kind of world that's not real. You know what I mean? It's like every so often they say that you know the world will glitch, something will happen, and the world will glitch, and they're like something's going on, and they think there's somebody watching us. It's like get out of town. What are you talking about, you crazy people? Don't believe any of that. But, you know, some people have some weird theories. It's 
So this this pirate that uh, has a bit of an accent, but he's a nice guy. His name's uh, Fuzzy Fuzzy Bond. He's quite a cool guy. He uh, he knows his way around the seas. I tell you, what we got going on here? Scaly ship. See one of these emergent threats that Kia keeps telling me about. He's like, you gotta watch those emergent threats. I'm like, what are you s just rambling about, you crazy geezer? Like, stop it, dude. But he does. He keeps saying, and he's right. They are out there. Oh, look, is old Merrick's old camp. He was a bit of a fish eater back then. Look at that. <sighs> There's him and his son Derek. <sighs> yeah, beautiful painting. Excuse me for yawning. Been quite a day. And here I am out on the seas. Still going. I might get back to the ship and have a little bit of a drink. A little libation just to wet the whistle. You know. Alright, piggy. Yeah, I'm coming for you. I fancy some bacon. And drop this plant in the water so you uh, who will be wanting plants. You can st Oh my goodness, look at that. Hello, how are you guys? Hey, I don't want any... Oh. Well, that's the end of that, isn't it? They weren't very nice. Just came out of 